I didn't see anything. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's Eye. How the devil are you, mate? It is Nukes Top 5 today, baby. Nukes Top 5. Absolutely, it's Monday. It means Nukes Top 5, okay? So anyway, five scary ghost videos you won't watch alone. Well, hang on a second, Nuke, okay? I won't watch alone. I'm watching it alone. They're all out. Kids are at school. All right? Mrs. is at work. I'm here doing my thing. Listen, congratulations, Nuke, by the way, mate. You've just hit three million subscribers. Bloody brilliant, man. Well done. Anyone new coming onto the channel, you subscribe and you do the thing to Nuke's Top 5, okay? Go to Nuke's Top 5, subscribe and do the thing. And then while you're at it, you can do it here. All right? <laughs> anyway. Well, that's pretty much it. Just quickly, while I'm editing this Nukes Top 5, I've got a, a tweet from Fifi Rogan. Hey, my hubby James R O one two four O four nine four three follows you, and it's his birthday today. He loves watching your videos. Can you give him a tweet or a shout out on one of your video if you do one today? Um, he's had a shit couple of years of illness. So yeah, cheers, my lovely. Hey, James. Happy birthday, mate. Happy birthday, you, dude. Look at you, hey? Look at you with your birthday. Birthday boy. All right. Cheers, mate. Have a good one. Bye. Look at you. Hey? Look at you. What the fuck? What the F, mate? Here you go. All right. Okay, that's better. Anyway, without further ado, I am I recording? I am recording. Without further ado, I diddly day. You finish it this time. I can't. Let's do this. Something's got a hold on my hair. Ooh, something's got a hold of my hand. Who sung that? I can't remember. It was two people. And the video was like, they're in the carnival or the fair or something. I can't remember. Brilliant song. Anyway. Shh. <laughs> what the fuck, mate? Shh. Top five ghosts. Call on camera. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok user Chris has security cameras mounted all around his home. Late one night, the cameras capture a very bizarre incident in his living room. So, Chris is at home hanging out with his friends when all of a sudden, a phone starts ringing. Now there's n Seven days. Nothing weird about that, right? Well, trust me, it all gets very weird very fast. You can add both if you want to, Hunter. Nah. Well, that looks cool as s. I went into a code where. Look right at it, honey. What? No! No! What? No! What? That phone was just a real fucking dick! You're friend! That thing's not plugged in! So I answered it! What? Did you <laughs> that's what I really was? What the f? Did you read? That was the phone! Yeah! What the f? Did you read? That's not plugged in! I read. Look at you. Look at you, the chicken skin, mate. Holy moly. Look at you. It's all over the shop. Wow. That's legit. That is 100% legit. Put this on the wall! That bitch plugged oh in! This is Alex! Right. Alex! You found this phone with us and it just rang on the wall! No, it didn't. Yes, it no, fucking did! did. No, it didn't. She answered it! She answered it! An old landline phone that Chris has on his wall starts ringing and his friend Julie picks it up. However, there's no one on the line, just static. But this is where things take a very bizarre turn. Oh god. You see, Chris found this phone in an old abandoned school and simply hung the phone on his wall as some sort of retro decoration. Oh my god. This phone is not plugged in to anything. There's absolutely no phone service or even a cable attached to this ringing landline phone. After his video went viral on TikTok, Chris followed up with a new video explaining exactly where he found the creepy phone. Right, so, so, backstory of how I got the phone. Uh, phone. I was at an abandoned building exploring, and I was in the basement, the still and works. in the middle of the room, there was his phone on the wall. Fire Perfect sign, condition, fire, worked and everything. So I ripped it out of the wall, what, 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 what ripped the cord off right off, brought it home so I could hang it up on my wall for decoration. Yeah. <laughs> 
Chris says that right after the strange ringing, he and his friends opened up the phone and looked for anything suspicious that could explain the scary event. Even possibly a speaker hidden inside the phone as a prank. Yeah. But they found nothing out of the ordinary. Just a standard old telephone. They had no explanation for the bizarre ringing. So now, fearing that the phone might be cursed, Chris decides to return it to the place he found it. Which oh, here we go, mate. Which happens to be the abandoned Cooley High School in Detroit, Michigan. The school opened in 1928 and due to budget cuts was later closed in 2010. Over its nearly 100 year history, the school was believed to be extremely haunted. Oh, what? On his trip to return the phone to the school, Chris is joined by Julie, his friend who earlier picked up the ringing phone, and his- I wouldn't have brought her, mate. Would you? I don't know why. It may, may, like, maybe she's connected to it or something. I don't know. His buddy, Nathan. Chris records their entire exploration of the old abandoned school. And as you might guess, it did not go well. All right, so we're here at the school we got the phone from. Uh, I was trying to do live, but I don't have service in here. Uh, we have Nathan and the girl who answered the phone in the first place. Yeah. Hey. It's been seven days. You should be dead. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why exactly, exactly, mate. Exactly. Bye. You're actually probably going to die tonight. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All right, so I know the basement is on this side. Basement. Ooh. Dude, what if the phone rings in the backpack? Dude, yeah, I, mean, I, I would push you down the stairs. I would push you down the stairs. Oh. Yeah, this is the room. Right, what the f is in here? Right, and there was the pool right here. Right there, that's the cord. I ripped it out of the wall. What? All right, so uh, Julie, take the phone out of the backpack and put it on the wall. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> you picked it this up. Is so, this is something straight out of a movie, mate. So you can touch it. Whatever goes to is in it, I don't want it. <laughs> on the other side, it was on the other it's side. It's not ringing. <laughs> I was expecting it to ring, I'll be honest. Yeah, he brought it back. from oh hell no <laughs> shit in hell mate that fucking phone rings oh wow is it what are you yeah, that's... Oh, what the f is that coming from the other room why is there another phone down here and why is it ringing you are having a laugh I hear nothing. Oh, I hear nothing. Was that crazy? I, I don't think so. Oh my god. Come on, can we? Let's leave. Oh my god, mate. She's shitting it and absolutely right, mate. Let's leave. This is a f Dude, yeah, no, no. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta check that out. No! no. Nathan. Why not? Rambo it! Dude, no, because this is how you f***ing die in movies. No, 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 no. Shortly after Julie hangs the phone back in its original location in the school, the three friends start to hear unexplained ringing coming from somewhere inside the creepy abandoned building. Chris has had enough and just runs. His two friends follow and they all get out of there as fast as they can. To this day, Chris says that he has no intention of ever going back to the haunted Cooley High School. Oh my god. So did Chris capture a paranormal phone call from beyond? Or? Is it all just an elaborate hoax? I don't think it's an elaborate hoax. It's spooky as hell, man. Uh, 
I mean, I don't know, mate. I don't know. Is there sort of like some sort of winding mechanism in there that like every now and again? No, I don't know. I, I fucking I don't. I don't know, mate. I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. You decide. You decide. TikTok user Isaiah Castillo and his girlfriend Melissa are proud owners of a cute schnauzer named Haley. One night when Haley is alone in the couple's living room, this happens. security camera in the living room captures the moment when little Haley gets so spooked that she just runs away in sheer terror. What, what, what? Now first, unexplainably, the dog starts to bark at something we can't see. She then hops onto the couch. I saw something, I saw something down here. I saw something down here. What's, what's the score there? Couch, but something catches her attention on the back wall. Suddenly, she vaults off the couch in an absolute oh. panic running so fast that she slides across the floor and crashes into the living room wall. As she runs, a vent cover can be seen falling to the floor at the same spot where the dog had been staring. Now, it's certainly possible that the vent could have fallen from the force of Haley jumping off the couch, but... No, because it falls before he's even hit the... Well, maybe, I don't know. She can be seen staring at that spot before the vent even falls. Yeah. So it leaves the question. What terrifying thing did the puppy see that made her bolt out of the room? Let me know what you think. A paranormal nightmare. Foreman brothers Josh and Rock. I think that the dog, a picture just randomly fell down and the, god, the, the dog just got spooked. That's what I think. From the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare TV series, we're contacted by a woman named Linda who lives in Lancaster, Ohio. She says that ever since she moved into her house three and a half years ago, she has been experiencing terrifying paranormal activity. Here we go. The home has a very dark past. The house was built in the year 1900 on land that had once been a Civil War encampment. In the 1920s, a man mysteriously died in the home after an unexplained fall down the stairs. Years later, in the 1950s, it was used as a funeral home. It is also said that in the 1970s, a man tragically took the life of his wife in the living room before ending his own life. What a fucking weirdo, eh? What's the world coming to, mate? Or what did the world come to? With a history like that, it's not surprising that Linda has experienced everything from unexplained loud crashing and dragging sounds to the voices and cries from a little boy and girl. Her bed is shaken violently on many nights and she says she has been touched and physically hit by something she cannot see. On a Oh, what? That reminds me of that, um, what's that film called? It's apparently it was based on a true story. Entity. Entity. That's what it is. It's based on a true story, mate. What? That's mental. Absolutely mental. Occasion, she says that something has whispered her name in her ear. She has seen the apparition of a man in the basement, and one of the spirits in the home seems to be extremely violent and dangerous. What? I moved here three and a half years ago, so it would have been about 2017. I've been poked. I've had bruises on my legs. I've been shoved down the stairs. This stairwell right here, I got pushed down this about, I don't know, about a month ago. I was about halfway down, I got shoved from the back. Bloody now, hell. taken on its own, Linda's claim that something tries to shove her down the stairs could simply be dismissed as random missteps or perhaps exaggeration. But she's not the first to experience strange activity in this home. The Foreman brothers contact the house's previous owner. There was a whole lot of activity, and let's just say that I kind of slipped down the stairs a couple times when I didn't lose my footing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but fuck you, bitch! You bought it now. <laughs> my God, what, what is it? it? Like there must be some sort of um, law over in the states or something that requires you to sort of you have to say that the potentially it could be haunted. I think that there's laws that would say, like, you have to let the new owners know that there's, like, there's been a murder or somebody's died in that house. But I don't know whether 
they're, they, they need to say anything about potential spirits, ghosts, paranormal activity. I don't know. Let me know. Put it in the comments. Is it? Google it. I was, I was pushed, for sure. Linda says that up in her attic bedroom, she often hears voices and whispering. One day, she sets up a camera in her... I think voices and whispering is worse than seeing something. Well, I don't know, actually. ...her bedroom and actually catches some of the most terrifying EVPs you'll ever hear. Oh, fuck me. Here we go. Are you having a fucking laugh, mate? You're having a laugh. Josh and Rocky Foreman go to investigate the old home in hopes of capturing- Holy moly, man. That's terrifying. What? Listen to you. Look. Listen to you going on. You spirit box crap, mate. Oh, wow. Oh. Ya salí anto liqueleate el esequitane le tosos. Even more paranormal evidence and to help Linda with the aggressive and frightening paranormal activity in the home. Throughout the investigation, Josh and Rocky hear and capture very bizarre sounds that they can't explain. Is there anyone in here with us? Hear that? Mm -hmm. uh, something just moved right behind me. I think it just moved something. Oh, right here. Loud banging right next to me. The two brothers capture the loud sounds of knocking and unexplained banging, but eventually things start to get a bit more physical. Oh, what? what? Hold on. Something just touched me. Where at? Right on my elbow. Felt like cobwebs. Mm -hmm. Just brushed up against me. Oh, Did you my. touch Rocky? The guest bedroom is said to be one of the most supernaturally active rooms in the house. So Josh decides to lie down on the bed to try to provoke the ghosts that haunt the house. Fuck that, mate. Fuck that. It seems that he did provoke something. Man, it feels cool around here. I mean, my... <gasps> Whoa. What? I mean, my... <gasps> Whoa. What? Uh... Oh! Oh! Fuck. Oh! Oh, oh, fucking hell! I seen something. Something just grabbed my foot. Oh, fuck off, mate. No, something didn't grab your foot. No. Something grabbed your foot. Oh, shit, man. Please don't tell me that you were wearing flip-flops. Please don't tell me it was skin to skin. Fucking hell. Grab my fucking leg. On the f no, keep going. That's what we want. It just grabbed my f leg. It's under the f bed. Josh the says bed? that he sees a dark shadow figure at waist height moving towards Rocky. Rocky then feels something grab his leg, and it scares him so much that he accidentally breaks the mount on his camera and falls hard against the bed. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, 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 oh my. No effing way, man. 
No effing way. I'm not having that. I'm not having that. I'm not having it. Continue. If you're familiar with the Foreman Brothers videos, you know that they always stay calm and composed whenever they see or hear anything during an investigation. So to see both Josh and Rocky so freaked out in this footage, it just makes the video even more compelling. So did Josh and Rocky Foreman catch the ghosts that are haunting Linda in her home? And just what grabbed Rocky's ankle? And should Josh have cared a little more? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, keep going. That's what we want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers, brother. It just grabbed my f***ing leg. <laughs> Let me know what you think. You can watch this full video and many more great more. supernatural investigations over on their YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmare TV Series. Mate, I'll tell you, if, that, if there's more of that shit, I'm going over there and subscribing and doing the thing, okay? I'm going over there, mate, and, and, and hopefully react to some, man. Yeah, boy! <clears throat> Hide and seek. Popular Spanish YouTuber and paranormal explorer Ricky Velasquez frequently does live streams while exploring allegedly haunted locations in Mexico. In his live stream, Ricky and his friends Nazi and Eliza are exploring a haunted house in Ciudad Guzman, Mexico that is said to be inhabited by the ghost of a little girl. Oh but Ricky God. believes it's possible that this little girl spirit might not actually be a little girl at all, but something else, something dark and sinister. When Ricky tries to provoke a reaction by asking the little girl ghost to play hide and seek with them, things quickly take a turn toward the very bizarre. Ahí estamos en el espejo. Estamos en la casa de la niña. ¿Qué fue ese ruido? Si sientes aquí mismo que está encerrado y cómo se siente. Vamos a jugar a la escondida, niña. Ricky and his friends are gathered in the haunted building's restroom when they hear the unexplained moan of a child coming from somewhere inside the room with them. They quickly run out and into the hall. However, the hallway doesn't seem much safer. Niña. ¿Te acuerdas de mí? Hola. The group is spooked when they hear a loud unexpected- Oh, mate. I mean, why do people do this, man? Why do they go and investigate this shit when this stuff happens? Like, I did it once. I did it once. And it was freaky, man. Freaky deaky. Go check it out, by the way. Wow. Explain bang. Now they run right back into the restroom. After taking a moment to calm down, they continue their investigation. Ricky looks into the bathroom mirror and captures something absolutely chilling. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. Did you see it? No! Ricky and his two friends have no idea that they are not alone oh, as Ricky corner. captures what appears to be a figure right behind him, oh, fuck off, visible mate. at the edge of the mirror's reflection. Yeah, I can see, I can see, I can see, I can bloody see it, Nuke. Look at you. Look at you and your eyeballs. Man, look at the bloody eyeballs. Look, look. One. Two. He's like Kermit the Frog. What the fuck? But what happens next terrifies them all. Si ves eso en el espejo se ve como manchas así como rostros. Oye, ¿está por ahí arriba? Oye, oye. Ven, 
Vent, 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 vent. Vent. I didn't see anything. Ricky. What the hell did I just see there, mate? He casually films the mirror once again, and both he and his friend see something strange in the reflection. When Ricky turns around, he is shocked to his core as the apparition of a little girl appears in the restroom with them. Oh, shit off, man. Shit off. Look at you. Look at you. Look. Look at you. Hey? Eh? Look. What are you? Okay. Ben. 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 Oh my god! Oh god! It, 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 it does this as well, it just goes. Hmm. Hmm. So. Hmm. Ricky casually films the mirror once again, and both he and his friend see something strange in the reflection. When Ricky turns around, he is shocked to his core as the apparition of a little girl appears in the restroom with them. Fuck. Ricky and his friends run from the haunted house in terror, and the live stream investigation ends right there. Oh, man. So did Ricky catch the ghost of a little girl live on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Oh god, man, I hope that's an elaborate hoax. Because that is so damn freaky, mate. It's stupid. Again, it's up to you to decide. What do you think? Eh? What do you think? Real? Fake. You can check out this paranormal investigation and all of Ricky's investigations over on his YouTube channel, Ricky Velasquez. Ricky Velasquez. Alone in the dark. Reddit user RUAmyC143 and her 17-year-old son have been experiencing terrifying paranormal activity after moving into their new home in Massachusetts. Amy doesn't know much about the history of the house other than that it was built in 1895, so one can only imagine the events that might have taken place in the house over the last 126 years. Amy says she has heard strange noises in the middle of the night, loud banging, the sound of locked doors somehow opening and closing, and the crash of what sounds like heavy objects falling on the floor. Their personal items mysteriously disappear, and strangest of all, their pets, two dogs and a cat, often exhibit very strange behavior. Mama, what's over there? What are you trying to find? Why are you just standing there staring over there? Cats do do this weird shit though, don't they? You know? Especially cats. Oh, look at that! Oh, mate, do you see that orb? What the f*** is she trying to get? There's nothing there. Family Cat has been staring at something that Amy can't see for five minutes before she finally decides to record it with her phone. Now, maybe the cat saw something or maybe it was just in an odd mood. But now, this next video that the worried mother shared to her Reddit page is a little harder to explain. Oh God, here we go, mate. Oh no, no, that is so, that is so horrifying. Footsteps, mate. And they're not footsteps on the dance floor. They're footsteps in your belly bedroom, mate. I 
mean, that, 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 that ghost is just pissed off, isn't it? Stamping around. What the fuck is going on here? Who's this, who's this new people in my house? Oh man, that's so dodgy. You can hear the sound of someone walking around in Amy's bedroom, even though she is completely alone in the house and fast asleep in bed. Amy caught this recording using a night vision camera that she set up in her bedroom. She has another camera set up just around the corner, filming the living room and hallway. Cut to another night, and this time the second camera captures something truly disturbing. Oh God, here we go. Oh, what? A bizarre, unexplained shadow seems to rise up from the area near the couch on the far right and then quickly disappears back into the darkness, even though there's no one in the room to cast that shadow. One night, Amy's son decides to spend the night at his girlfriend's place, leaving Amy all alone in the house again. Oh, God. As she sleeps, her security camera captures something downright chilling. No! That's it! That's him just walking around! That's the ghost just walking around! F right off! Oh no, come on! A strange figure seems to pace back and forth outside of Amy's bedroom. Amy explains that she kept hearing strange banging and dragging sounds and eventually got out of bed to look around her home. She found nothing, but when she checks her camera's recorded footage, she is shocked. What is especially creepy is that Amy says that one direction the figure is pacing leads directly into a wall. Oh, Amy what? shares on her Reddit page that she's worried for her 17-year-old son and is only sharing these videos to get answers and hopefully help. As far as I could find, Amy has never posted any supernatural content to social media before these videos. So, did Amy capture evidence of the paranormal? As always, let me know what you think. You can watch oh, all of hey. Amy's videos and keep updated on her Reddit page at RUAmyC143. Oh. Uninvited. Uninvited, just that title alone makes you know it's going to be freaky deaky, mate. Korean ghost hunt live streamer Michael from the YouTube channel Docha Michael explores an abandoned house that is said to be haunted. When Michael arrives at the location, even before he has a chance to enter the building, strange things start to happen. Where? Hey, there's nobody Where? there. There's nobody there. There's nobody there. Where? Wow! Wow! There's nobody there. Wow! Mate, that's going. That's uh, mate. Wow! Tien no kupichit. Tien no kupichit. Is that like a remote control on string? What the hell? Kick out of the way! As soon as Michael starts recording and is just about to enter the old abandoned house, a wheelchair starts to move all on its own. Now obviously Michael is shocked by what he just witnessed, but he has no idea that things are about to get even creepier. Yeah, 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 it's gonna happen mate, it's gonna happen. I've reacted to this dude before with his hand acting. On another level. Fuck! Yeah. Rambo it! Rambo it! Yeah! Yeah! Quickly! Quicker! Go! Look up! Look up! Look up! 
pick up. Something seems to pound on a door, catching Michael's attention. Then the door suddenly swings open on its own. Creepiest of all, whoever or whatever was pounding on the door seems to be hiding behind a curtain and quickly moves away. That was blatantly a hand. That was a hand just going, there you go. Have that. Way. When Michael runs over, there's no one there. Just an empty room. Later into the investigation, Michael finds a mirror on top of a makeup table. This is when things get downright chilling. Here we go. Oh, was that his stomach making noises? Oh my god, that's just scared the crap out of me, mate. I thought it was a grudge. <clears throat> oh, piss <laughs> Was that footsteps? Oh, was that somebody walking? Is somebody walking, mate? Is somebody walking? You can barely see it. You can barely see it. Yeah. The ghost hunter's stomach suddenly starts to growl from hunger and he is so distracted rubbing his belly that he doesn't even notice that someone or something is walking up right behind him. But when he turns around, again, there's just no one there. Michael has no idea what he just captured on camera. He continues his exploration of the creepy abandoned building. Now Michael hears a sound coming from the same curtain he filmed earlier. When he gets close to the curtain to find an explanation to the strange sound, this happens. <laughs> Something seems to punch at Michael through the curtains. Understandably, he is terrified by the strange attack and makes a run for it. So did Michael capture evidence of something paranormal on camera? Something trying to attack him? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Oh, man. You can check out this full investigation and many more creepy videos. I, I, I have a feeling he's... Uh... I remember seeing his la his, his one of his others when this fucking grudge thing just does this. He just goes... Ah that into the into into the bloody into this in, in the camera uh i don't know i i think it's a bit of theatrics i'll be honest with you with him videos over on the youtube channel docha michael thanks so much for watching for channel updates and hey nuke listen mate don't you worry about it mate because you're a bloody legend random things please follow me on twitter here and also on instagram over there I'll see you guys next week. Boom. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was Nuke's top five. It's five scary ghost videos you won't watch alone. My goodness gracious me. Nuke does it again. Punches it out of the, the thing. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, how about leaving a little bit of a like, mate? Well, not a little bit. It's either on or off. And then also, if you're new to the channel, how about subscribing, man? It'd be bloody brilliant. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>